Hey, what's going on everybody? How's it going? John here with another video. Hope you guys are doing well. Keeping your vibrations way up high. The roof to the ceiling, the sky, way up high. Very high on vibrations. So what I want to talk today about is ways to stay at a high vibration during this upcoming spring equinox. Because remember, it's the first day of spring, the spring equinox, which is on Monday, the 21st of this month, of this month, that is, like, around that time and on that day, too, is when portals open, new energy coming to the planet. Because, remember, the first day of spring is like the birth, rebirth of the sun. Like, it's starting to get warmer, the sun's coming out. I mean, the sun's powerful no matter what. But it's just like it's starting to get warmer out. Like, you feel the sun on you when you're in the sun. Nature starts to regrow. You see the flowers, the plants growing back, the leaves on the trees growing back. So that means we come from nature, we're energy. So we're gonna feel the shift too. But you wanna make sure your vibration just matches the energy. That's why it's important to do your inner work, your shadow work, working on yourself, cutting out addiction, or just anything. You don't want to be at a low vibration. Like, you always have chances to work on yourself. Like, it's never too late. Like, you have all the time in the world. So, so ways to stay at a high vibration during this upcoming spring equinox. And you already know what I'm going to say the first thing. Meditate, go within, go within, because that's like one of the main things. So just connect with your heart chakra. Connect with your heart chakra for like 5, 10, 15 minutes. Just focus on your heartbeat. Focus on that love you have within. Focus on God, God's power within. Connecting with God, connecting with your higher self. Feeling all that unconditional love within. Just feel the energy of your heart center. You just bring your awareness to your heart center. That's your fourth chakra. That's who we truly are within. Be present with that. Feel that love, that unconditional love you have. That will that will raise your vibration. And don't worry, I'll make I'll make a meditation. A spring equinox meditation on basically the first day of spring because I did one last year and I'll definitely do one on Monday but another way to stay at a high vibration you want to be out in nature as much as possible or just as much as you can and if you have stuff going on that's okay you got all the time in the world to be out in nature it's gonna be warm 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 you're gonna be out in that sunshine when you go out in the sun, just laying in the sun or just going out in nature, looking at all the plants, the trees regrow, that will affect your mood. That will affect your mood in a positive way. Like, it's always nice to see, like, the leaves grow back on the trees. It's like spring is here, looking at all the flowers, the butterflies, just being one with nature, being in tune with earth. You want to ground yourself. Just ground yourself. Put your feet in the soil or something. Connect with Mother Gaia. That will build up energy. That will build up energy. Another way to be at a high vibration. Don't be on your phone that much. Don't be on your phone that much. Don't even be on YouTube, really. You want to detach from your phone. Just be out in nature. Don't even be on your phone, really. Spend as much time with your heart chakra, your true self. And meditation isn't just like that. You can meditate. There's many different ways. Just walking in nature, being present, focusing on your breath or your heartbeat. That's meditation. Listening to the birds, the listening to the sound of the trees, listening to nature, being alive again. 
that's meditation. So you don't want to be on your phone as much, really, around that time. Just really detach from your phone. I mean, if you do, you do. If you're on your phone, you're on your phone. But I highly suggest just to take breaks from your phone. Because this is a distraction from your true self. It's time to take breaks. Just turn your phone off or just turn it on silent mode. Just take long breaks from your phone. Be in tune with yourself. Another way, think of, think of something that just makes you happy. Think of something you love to do. Or just think of something that gives you bliss. Something that benefits you. Something you just love to do. Something that just gives you a good feeling inside. Like, the first thing you wake up. Don't just go on your phone. Think of something you love to do that makes you happy. That will raise your vibration. And keep thinking of that thought. Just keep thinking of that thought. Another, like, two more things. Give yourself... Thanks. Give give the universe thanks. Give some gratitude. Show some gratitude. That will make you feel amazing. You'll feel that energy rushing up. And do morning affirmations. That's another one. And then the last one is self-talk in the mirror. That's an important one. Just look at yourself in the mirror. Give yourself affirmations by doing that. Just tell yourself, you are powerful. You are going to make it. Just stuff like that. You are not your thoughts. Like It's like you're talking your true self, like your, your higher self talking to you. Those are all the ways that will keep you at a high vibration. But like on like Monday or just around this first day of spring or from there on, just be out in nature. It's, it's going to be warm for now on, basically. So it's just like it's time to be out in nature as much as possible. I know it's harder in the wintertime because it's cold, it's snowing, it's below freezing. But when in springtime, you should be in nature all the time. Get out of the house, get out of the bed. Get up, go for a jog, exercise. It's time to work on yourself. It's like meet new people. Like Get out of the house. Get out and breathe in that fresh air. There's so many bad things happening around this world. We, I mean, be aware of it, but don't attach to it. Detach from that. Oh yeah, and don't even look at the news around that time. Don't even look at the news. Do not watch the news. That will bring your vibration down. Do not even look at the news. And yeah, don't be on social media. I mean, do what you want, but my suggestion is don't even look at any of that. Because that will bring your vibration way down. Like, literally. But, yeah, be out in nature as much as possible now. Even now, it's if it's warm, like, literally, it's that time of year where we should be going outside again, exercising, or just going for a walk, grounding ourselves. It's like, get out of the house. Get, get out in that fresh air. Breathing, breathing in all that prana. Get back to Mother Earth, Mother Nature. But yeah, I just want to give you guys that message. And in the meantime, I will talk to you guys all later. See you guys.